Welcome to another episode of Nimsoli Explains with me. This time we're back at Dungeon Alchemist and we're going to look at how to use the map in our online role playing game. Roll 20 in this case. But before we get started with that, just want to remind you to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell so that we can continue to grow the channel. Now, on to Dungeon Alchemist. Last time we made a map, this time we're going to put it into Roll20. Uh, Dungeon Alchemist gives us a few tools to do that. I think they're very useful. Um, now, to do the full effect, you're going to need your pro membership level because it uses an API script. But I've got an, uh, a previous episode, which I'll link to somewhere up there. Uh, and that will uh, walk you through how to resize a map once you export it uh, into Roll20. So let's just go ahead and export this map. First, you just click on File and then Export, and then it gives us a lot of options. You can see here Roll20 is selected, but it gives you f Fantasy Grounds, Foundry, uh, a, a Universal Generic, uh, Images, or Print. So we're going to leave it set for... Uh, roll 20 export. We're going to leave it at perspective, but you could have a limited perspective or orthographic top down only. Uh, high quality, low quality, very high quality. High quality works for me. Uh, too high quality, you sometimes run into issues uploading. There are a couple of different options for the grid. I like using normal borders, not small borders. Uh, and I leave the color. Uh, or print friendly grayscale. I usually leave it color because I'm going to do it online. And then I hit export. And then I'm going to put it on the desktop uh, and just hit export. And you can see uh, the export's done. There are two files that are created. The first is a JPEG of the map itself. You can see here it's done, has the walls, everything looks cool. Um, not the flickering anymore because it's not animated, but there you go. And there's this text file. It has a lot of code in it. We'll show you how to deal with that in a minute. All right. So the next thing we do is we go over here to roll 20. Now, I need to make sure that I have a particular um, API in there. So let's go over here and look at the API scripts and look at the ones that I have. We have combat, we have status, and we have teleport, but we don't have Dungeon Alchemist. So we need the Dungeon Alchemist importer API script. So we've added the, we've just added that. Now we'll go back into the uh, game and launch that. Now then I will take the map and drop it in here. And there's the map in there, but now we have this text file here. And you can see here it has a command line in there, Dungeon Alchemist. So we're just gonna control A and copy this then we're going to go over to our uh, text input area here and just paste that in and then hit enter. And that's going to do a few things. Oh, forgot to put it to the map layer and that is very important. So we're going to move it to the map layer and do that again. And now there you go. You see it's centered. And you can see that it's resized the map to fit and the map document to fit. Originally it was 25 by 25, but it's been resized to 19 by 21 to fit the, the map itself. Uh, if you look at the lighting layer, the light has been put in. You can see doors are put in. You can see that this is left open. There are uh, staircases here, lights, and then you can uh, have the walls drawn in. So 
it's a really excellent way to create and import maps into Roll20 automatically. Well, there you go. We've now uploaded a map into Roll20 and it resized automatically. I have to say, it's one of the niftiest tools I've seen for doing that. Uh, if you've seen something better, please let me know down in the comments. I really want to hear what you have to say. Uh, do you like what we did here? Do you like what we're doing with the channel? Please let me know. I'm really interested. Thank you very much and happy gaming.